Karen, what do you think? Um, uh, I think what you're talking about is uh, very interesting. I think all the things that you talk about are very interesting um, and helpful, helpful to a lot of people. Now, you remember our consult a few weeks ago, right? You have to tell me a little bit about what we spoke. Um, well, right. we're bracing. My husband's going to get sued. Or, okay. or he, we're bracing to uh, get a final acknowledgement after losing an arbitration. Oh, so that one. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I, I have set up an LLC. It's in my name only right now. I've got the bank accounts open. There was a little delay in that. Um, I'm losing a little sleep, and I know I probably need a private consult a little, but thinking about the interrogatories that are probably going to come because it's in district court and what do i want to ask you this on is this? post judgment discovery right yes yes but post judgment discovery they're just going to ask you okay so this is what they're going to want to find out what you have the right to spend and what you have the right to sell and mm -hmm. they might have 70 questions they mm -hmm. only get to ask it one time though mm -hmm. let me know if you get that because i'll answer them for you Okay, well, I, I will answer them when we do. Yeah, I have some videos on this, but I don't mind reinventing the wheel. I do it. I mean, I'll make another video out of it. Yes. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, I guess a question I would ask in this forum is now it's okay. Like they ask all different forms of where your income is coming from, what kind of money or non income um, you're using to pay living expenses and details on. I, I've looked up the form for Colorado. Um, okay. And so is it okay, I just want to confirm because we didn't talk about this specifically on the on our consult um, to use the new LLC I just created that's going to be cash flow for my husband and my business and reveal that potentially on an interrogatory to the lawyers. Okay, you can exclude it unless there's a very specific question that says, are you a signer for an LLC? <laughs> I mean, really. no, I didn't see that. If they use the uh, Colorado pattern interrogatory, they can look it up. That, that question's yeah. not on well, there. Well, they could, they could start with those and they can look up on public records and see if you're listed as an owner of a company, right? And that doesn't mean that you're receiving any kind of money. But what it does tell them, if the ownership is beyond yourself and your husband, it does tell them that it's none of their business or it's uncollectible, right? Until you get some money. So you could disclose that, but just. Just think keep this in mind. If you disclose something like that, then I would simply change it right after I answer the question under oath. I would tell the truth and then I would change it. In that change it, like like create a new LLC and yeah, it's a pain in the butt, but do it. Uh, that's what I'm saying. If you get the questions, I'll answer them and I'll ask you a couple of questions and then I'll answer accordingly based on what you tell me. And then I'll suggest a couple of things. And very seldom do we have to change uh, a bank account around. Okay. So, yeah, but yeah, the answer is it's very versatile. That's why that's why I set up these uh, things the way I do because uh, I want to uh, allow you the freedom to, to keep your money and still not have to lie and you know have the least least cost involved. Okay. So I'd have to I'd have to see the questions. Sometimes they're pretty yeah. sticky. Like in Texas, I had a few that were these guys were really trained. <laughs> you know they. Uh -huh. they, they've done it a while so i had to be careful on how i answer those and i did answer and anything they can't possibly discover i'll just tell them whatever, whatever suits your needs in other words you, i'll lie if uh -huh. they can never discover it do you think i should just go ahead and set up a second llc um no because that you might have to discover to disclose that so just oh wait. okay i yeah. get your point i get your yeah, point. Okay. just do the least right now right and do you think like right now, because I just got the bank accounts opened, I got a call from Wells Fargo, they didn't like my address, you know, and my background is I'm transitioning from a decades of following the Patriot mythology, as you so aptly yeah. put it last week. Uh, right. um, so I have my driver's license in a private mailback box address that went through in Colorado, but now it's starting to slowly get tagged for um, being a commercial mailbox. So I have yeah. to go back okay. in there and change it. Um, but I need to add, a, is, is it important that I get a partner added quickly, given we also expect to get the interrogatories probably pretty soon? 
Okay, so good practice. So what happens is, let's say you add your Uncle Bob to your LLC uh, and, and to the articles, just like that. Then it, it, it changes the focus. If the bank wants to look at that source of income, it would be limited to your share of that and also the disbursements to yourself only. It could not reach into the company with a writ from the court. It could only reach into your income from the company in which you decide what that is. That's what I'm saying. It would really discourage them. Okay. And my husband's not even, he's the one that's going to get the judgment and he's not even going to be on the company based on what we talked about. I was going to add my sister or my adult daughter. That's the best way to do it. Uh, if you're signing, that's pretty good. But if you can add another family member, that's the best because you're really okay. working with an, a nominee LLC. That's the best. Okay. Thing. I do okay. that whenever possible with family members. Yeah, I just I just wanted to wait at least a couple of days to clear it with the bank so they wouldn't have like their legal department looking up the LLC sure. on the state website and calling me about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and someone okay. asked about shares. Uh, I'm sorry, go ahead. Did you have any more? No, thank you. Good questions. Thanks, Karen. All right. 